All right, so let's see how much you actually understand about ratios and proportions. Because if you uh, really do understand ratios and proportions, well, this should be a very easy question to answer. So let's take a look at the problem. So we have 5 is to 40 as x is to 16. So we're trying to figure out what x is equal to. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. I'm also going to uh, quickly review what a ratio is, what a rate is, and what a proportion is. Okay, so 5 is to 40 as x is to 16. What is x equal to? Well, the correct answer is x is equal to 2. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. You're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this seems like a very easy problem, but uh, I'm still a bit confused. Well, actually, there's a few different ways to solve this uh, question or to figure out the answer to this uh, question. But uh, what I want to teach you here is how to use ratios and proportions to solve a problem like this, right? These types of problems are very common in math and especially in algebra. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so 5 is to 40 as x is to 16. What this is is um, uh, a problem, a math problem, that falls under the topic of ratios and proportions. And typically when you're studying mathematics, especially at the middle school level, pre-algebra, algebra 1 level, and beyond, you'll have some sort of unit um, or chapter that will say something like proportions or ratios. If you look in your math textbooks or what you're studying, uh, for those of you uh, that are math students at the middle or high school level or even college level, it doesn't make a difference. You should know ratios and proportions. And really, there's even another word in here called rates, rates, ratios, and proportions. So let's just quickly define uh, rates and ratios real quick. And, and what we're dealing with here happens to be a ratio. I'll get to a proportion here in a second. But effectively, rates and ratios are essentially fractions, okay? Uh, so a ratio is a fraction that compares, uh, well, we're really talking about units of measure where the units of measure are the same, okay? So don't want to really too, um, uh, focus too heavily on the difference between uh, rates and ratios and proportions because that's a, a pretty big topic that we really kind of need to look at in further detail. If you need to um, learn more about rates, ratios, and proportions, I have a ton more videos on YouTube that goes into it further, but you can probably learn all of this uh, with my full instruction. Not probably, you definitely will with like my Algebra 1 course. But just as a real quick um, kind of definition, a ratio and a rate are fractions when uh, what we're looking at is the units of measure. So when the units of measure are the same, okay, uh, effectively we're comparing two different numbers uh, that are the same units of measure, that is a ratio. So something like uh, uh, five uh, students to, well, let me do it this way, one teacher to 20 students, that would be an example of a ratio. Now you're saying, well, you're talking about a teacher and you're talking about student, you're counting two different type of things. No, we're counting people. And even though you might not think a teacher is a person, they are a human being. So one human being to 20 human beings, we're basically comparing the same units of measure. Whereas a rate, okay, would be something like, uh, let's say, do this, 60 miles per one hour, okay, 60 miles per one hour. So this uh, right here is distance, okay, this number here is counting distance, and this number down here, or this unit down here, is counting time. So when you're counting or when you're... Um, a fraction is comparing two different numbers with completely different units of measure. That is a rate. Now, the one thing that you want to be familiar with is that a rate uses the word per, okay, like 60 miles per hour. And ratios, you, uh, you'll you hear uh, the word to, okay? So here you can see we have 5 is 240 as x is 216. Uh, so this where two is indicating a ratio. All right, so I kind of wanted to kind of cover all this because I don't want anyone to just be, you know, like confused about this. We're like, oh, I thought, you know, this might have to do something with rates. Because uh, some of you, um, well, not just some of you, most all of you out there, if you've, um, you know, taken 
middle school, high school of mathematics, you have done ratios and proportions. And I'm going to get to what a proportion is uh, here in a second. So what we have to do is go ahead and write this, these parts of the problems as fractions, okay, because they are ratios. And let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so 5 is to 40. This is a ratio. And effectively, what we can do is write this right here. 5 is to 40 this way, 5. And then 2 is the fraction bar right there. Okay, 5 is to 40, we can put right down there. So 5 is to 40, we can write as a fraction. 5 is to 40 or 5 over 40. Okay, so how do you think we would write x is to 16? Again, this is a ratio. We have that word 2. It's pretty easy. We're going to write that as x is to 16. Okay, so x is to 16. You can write it this way, x over 16, but you can also write it this way. It's a ratio and 5 over 40. You can write as 5 is to 40. Okay, so now we're going to have to go ahead and take this to the next level. So we have 5 is to 40 as. We've got to talk about this word as right here. And this is going to be the equal sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together now. So we have 5 is to 40, which is this right here. Um, and then x is to 16 is this right here. And as is the equal sign. So we have 5 is to 40 as x is to 16. So this is what we have right here. And what we're uh, saying is we have one ratio, which of course is a fraction, equaling to another fraction, okay, or ratio. So two equal ratios or two equal rates or two equal fractions are all basically the same thing. By definition is what we call a proportion. So we're dealing with a proportion. So if you said in the comment section, you're like, well, I think we're dealing with a, a proportion here or we're dealing with ratios, all those answers would be outstanding. And even if you put the uh, rate down, although that's not technically correct, I would still give you some credit, uh, you know, as you were kind of close in terms of, you know, identifying the topic here. Okay, so now what we have to do is solve this proportion. And let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that right now. Now, before we continue on, I have a quick question for you. Are you enjoying this content? Well, if you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. I will definitely uh, appreciate that. Also, if you need additional help in math, check out my math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Also, I'm going to give you uh, some specific recommendations at the end of this video. All right, so let's get back to the problem. Okay, so when you have two equal fractions, of course, by definition, that is a proportion. Let's go ahead and look at uh, something really easy here before we get into the solution. You can see I already have it written down here. Here is a fraction one half. I am going to uh, come up with another fraction that's equal to this fraction. Uh, how about like 3 over 6? So we could pretty much all agree that 1 half is equal to 3 6. I could just reduce uh, 3 over 6. I would get back to 1 half. Now, uh, these two values or these two uh, fractions are equivalent. Okay, They represent the same value, 0.5 in terms of a decimal. But these are two equal fractions, i.e. a proportion. So when you have two equal fractions, what you um, can do is use the cross product to verify that or use the cross product to solve a proportion. And the cross product is the following, okay? When you have a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions, you can cross multiply this way. So here, two times three is what? Let's go to write it like this. Uh, two times three, of course, is six. And then right here, if we multiply this way, we have one times six. And of course, that's six. So six is equal to six. So when you have a proportion, the cross product is always true, the, i.e. the cross product uh, yields the same number. So we can use that concept, or, and this is really, really important. When you're dealing with proportions, you want to be thinking of that cross product. Now, there are a couple different um, other ways you can think about uh, solving proportion problems, but the cross product by far is the most common. And it kind of, there's another kind of term that goes with it, the means equal the extremes. You don't need to worry about that. Just as long as you get this basic idea of the cross product down, you'll be good to go when it comes to proportion. So let's go ahead and use that to solve for this variable x. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. We're going to use a cross product. So let's go ahead and go this way. So 40 times X is 40 X and then five times 16 will be five times 16. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the next step here. So we have 40 X is equal to five times 16, which of course is 80. So how do I solve for X when I have 40 X is equal to 80? Easy. I just design, uh, divide both sides of the equation by 40 and you're going to get X is equal to two, right? 80 divided by 40 is two. And that is the answer. But let's go ahead and verify that real quick just to make sure that we did this correct. So here was our original problem. Five is to 40 as X is to 16. So we're saying this X is two. Well, let's go ahead and plug in a two right here. And then you can, you can see I've uh, already done that right uh, on this side. So we have five is to 40 as two is uh, to 16. Is this true? Well, you can see the cross product would in fact be true, right? Uh, 40, uh, 40 times two would be 80 and five times 16 would be 80. But you know, another way we can kind of look at that is we have two fractions that we can reduce down. So two sixteenths, I can reduce down to the fraction one eighth and five over 40, I can also reduce down to the fraction one eight, right? Cause five goes into 40 or uh, eight times. So you can reduce these fractions down. You can clearly see that we are dealing with two equal fractions. So X uh, is equal to two is in fact the correct solution, uh, solution to this proportion problem. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.